My name's Jim Benson. I'm from Mahoopany, Pennsylvania. Probably never heard of that place before. And uh, I'm flying on 2010 Safari 400. I went experimental because uh, ease of maintenance. I wanted to know the helicopter. I wanted to be able to work on it. I'm an AMP, but I, I hadn't used it for a long time. So I wanted something that was really kind of bulletproof. And after researching, that's pretty much what these helicopters are. They're, 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 uh, they can be a John Deere of the sky, or they can, you know, you can take your wife out to dinner in it. It looks good, but yet it's functional. It's really kind of neat when you spool up a helicopter, you know, and, and you're listening to those blades, and it's such a peaceful feeling to just pick that thing up and then gently float away. Where I live, I can fly out if, if mama needs a couple steaks for dinner, I can fly out to the, to the meat market and grab a couple steaks and fly right back. If uh, she decides she wants ice cream cone after dinner, I fly down to the Tasty Freeze and we get ice cream. It's just a phenomenal thing to be able to pick up and go right out of your own yard and then uh, land anywhere you want to with permission. It's just great. I love to play banjo. I played fiddle and mandolin and everything. And I, I used to be in bluegrass bands. And we were starting to get places. And I traveled. I traveled a lot, but I had to give it up. But one thing I didn't give up was my passion for music. And uh, so what I did was I started buying and selling and collecting old vintage musical instruments. This is a 1925 Gibson ball bearing. And every once in a while I get a call from somebody and they say, Jimmy, I got an old Gibson banjo or something. And uh, there's a lot of times when I can fly out to the site and buy it, bring it home. I built, I have special racks that go on the skids of the helicopter and you can I can lace a fiddle to it or I can strap a banjo on it. And there's times when I'll, I'll just get in it, throw a, an instrument on there, an old guitar or something, go to a jam session. So it's just, you know what? Sometimes you just got to mesh your passions with real life. And that's what I, I like about it. Oshkosh is phenomenal as far as I'm concerned because you get to come here and you meet people from all over the world. You meet other pilots and we all get to talk, we all work on each other's helicopter if somebody needs a hand and the camaraderie is just fantastic and it's like a family, it's like a community and uh, Oshkosh especially here, I mean the guys in the tower do a, they just do a phenomenal job, they're friendly. And the other nice thing is at night, we go over to the campsites and we have jam sessions because there's a lot of people that play musical instruments. So you know what? It's flying and picking. Life don't get any better than that. Uh, I especially like helicopter flying but you know what no matter what you fly whether it's an ultralight a helicopter you could be flying a 747 fly that's the thing fly and that's what's nice about Oshkosh because you get you meet pilots and people from all over and it, it doesn't matter what you fly just have a good time
Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. All right. On that note, <laughs> Thank you, Al Rolton. All right. <laughs>